Okay, I'm going to give a little update on the aeration of the fish tank here this morning. As you can see, I've got a, a one inch pipe here along with the four drains, but if you just look down the one on the center, you see at the bottom I've got a couple of 90s down there. So the water returning from the sump is creating a, a bit of circulation. Plus we're providing aeration. We're getting air using a venturi effect. We walk around back. Well, while we're here, let's, let's watch the, the fish hiding. Got my catfish in there. They're a little shy. I call them the scaredy cats. Anyway, let's walk around back and we'll look at the uh, the main feature here. I added this T on the end of the return and on top of the T I've got a cap with a couple of big pin casings. Now those big pin casings extend beyond uh, this return pipe here. They're on down here so what happens to returning water shoots goes down there and it draws air through these these little pins here and that's one of the ways that we're getting aeration uh, down on the other end in the sump tank this is our return or actually our uh, bypass uh, the excess water is pumped back into the into the sump tank and that provides a pretty good amount of aeration we've got the, the pump down in the corners and you see the air uh, and from the, the bubbles are all being pumped right down at the, at the pump itself. Plus we have the returns from the sump, uh, from the uh, from the bell siphons. That creates quite a bit. So you got a lot of dissolved oxygen in the sump tank itself. And that's all being pumped right back up into the fish tank. So the fish are getting plenty of air. And uh, that has eliminated the use of this uh, air pump that uh, was providing way too much air but I'm going to use it in a deep water culture that we will install later on and uh, that will provide plenty of air for the this is going to be a 4 by 20 foot deep water culture that we'll put on this side of the shade house and then it'll leave us a 2 foot aisle down the center and while we're here we might as well take a look at uh, that's my young assistant Matthew uh, we're about six weeks into operation. These, uh, the vegetation varies anywhere from uh, about three weeks to uh, oh, six weeks maybe. This is my lettuce. I dropped the lettuce in here just from seeds and that is uh, about three weeks old. We ate our first salad from that last night and the beans and squash uh, tomatoes, we got some broccoli. Uh, let's see, that's about it. We're uh, we're trying to be in the aquaponics uh, venture here.